to get their voice heard and to tell their story to an international audience, and in particular to pressure uh, international companies, in particular oil companies that are uh, working or trying to work or have worked in Peruvian Amazon uh, to uh, minimize their impacts and uh, to press them to respect uh, indigenous people's rights to have a say over what happens in the land and to choose their own future. Um, I'm here um, because I'm accompanying uh, a, a leader from the Achua people of northern Peru, KSPSIB. He is the president of the uh, National Achua Federation of Peru, representing 42 Achua communities close to the border with Ecuador. He is here because his people are fighting to defend their ancestral territory, which is in uh, what for me I knew it for the first time in 2006, one of the most beautiful places in the world, one of the most beautiful places in the Amazon I've ever been, and one of the most beautiful and special people I've worked with. Uh, they are currently in a, locked in a struggle with uh, Canadian company Talisman Energy, uh, from Calgary, Alberta, which has been trying now for several years to, to drill for oil and to uh, develop oil production in on the heart of uh, an ancestral territory, uh, an ancestral hunting ground in the middle of the Axwas territory. And we're here to, to raise awareness about what is happening, to build connections and solidarity with groups here, uh, to look for people who can help the Achua get their voice heard by the company and, uh, and also by the Canadian government which uh, funds and supports Talisman Energy, um, EDC, uh, 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 the Export Development Canada, an agency of the Canadian government funds Talisman Energy between 100 million and 200 million uh, every year for their overseas operations. Um, which is why we're hoping that through this trip we can uh, help the actual people be listened to and be respected and make a difference to, uh, uh, to what, what's happening in their land. But I don't want to talk too much right now. I think it's better to go straight into the video, um, which will give you a little bit of an insight into the actual and how they live and the struggle. And, and then after the film, we can uh, turn over to Pierce and he can talk a little bit about um, his people and, uh, and, and what they're trying to do here. Tuesday, and, uh, um, but he's done so because uh, he sees this as a last resort in order to try and stop uh, what's happening and, uh, and to try and uh, uh, protect his his people's territory. So I want to pass over to him to talk a little bit more. Yes. Sí. Este, antes de un saludo muy complacido a ustedes, es una oportunidad de conocernos personas desconocidos. Yo soy pueblo indígena, Achuar del Perú, de la Amazonía peruana. He venido acá de tan lejos y la visita que estoy haciendo en, en, acá en Ottawa es informar, manifestarle la problemática que existe dentro de nuestro país, en la Amazonía peruana, que a nivel de la Amazonía peruana existe una historia negativa por las empresas extractivas. Porque otros pueblos, ya ustedes han visto que son problemas reales que están pasando hasta ahorita, que están sufriendo la población por la contaminación del medio ambiente. So, um, I want to thank you all for welcoming here and greet you. Um, it's an opportunity for uh, people who don't know each other, for us to know each other. Uh, I am Achua from Peru, the Peruvian Amazon, and I have come so far, I've come to Ottawa, in order to inform you of the problem that we're facing in our country, in the Peruvian Amazon. In the Amazon, we have a negative history of oil development. 
Uh, what you see in the film uh, is real. That is what's been happening in our land, and that's the contamination that we've been facing in the Amazon. El pueblo actual vive en unidos, defendiendo su territorio, defendiendo sus recursos que tenemos. Pero las empresas transnacionales nos insisten a convencernos a nosotros de sacar la riqueza que tenemos dentro de nuestro territorio. Porque en nuestro territorio, en el bosque, existen muchas especies de animales, porque nosotros vivimos de ellas, todas nuestras necesidades, nuestro consumo diario, sacamos del bosque. Entonces, pero nosotros somos, somos originarios de este, de, este, de este territorio, porque nuestros abuelos y bisabuelos han vivido en ese territorio. Pero las empresas atractivas no respetan nuestros derechos como pueblo indígena. Tienen muchos intereses, pero aún así, como nosotros mantenemos unidos, hasta ahorita no nos convence, pero nos está insistiendo. Pero, pero para convencernos a nosotros, la empresa Talisman nos está buscando diferentes estrategias de convencernos y entrar dentro de nuestro territorio. So, the actual people live united defending our territory. Um, but transnational companies continue insisting and trying to convince us in order to get access to the riches on our land. In our territory, we have great biodiversity, a huge variety of animals and fish. Uh, and this, and we live from our forest. It provides us with food, it provides us with medicine, everything that we get in order to survive. We're the original people of this land that belongs to us. Our ancestors lived there, our grandparents lived there, and we've inherited them, and it belongs to us. The oil companies don't respect us. And they continue to insist on trying to get into our land. But despite their work, we remain united and we remain strong. However, uh, Canadian company Talisman has been trying with different strategies to convince us and divide us and allow and get access to our resources. Para nosotros, el territorio no hay espacio para que ellos entren en nuestro territorio, porque la población día a día está aumentando. Entonces, nosotros nos preocupamos mucho para nuestras futuras generaciones. Porque ya tenemos experiencia en otros lugares que la población está sufriendo. Entonces, ya viendo todo eso, pues ya tenemos experiencias ya claras. Nosotros no permitimos a la empresa Talisma canadiense que entre en nuestro territorio. Pero... Para hacer eso, para entrar en nuestro territorio, no ha entrado, no ha, no ha entrado en nuestro territorio ninguna comisión para hacer consulta a nosotros. Ni una vez nosotros hemos derivado un documento invitándole a para que participe un representante de Talisman para que nos dé informaciones claras sobre su trabajo. Pero ni, ninguno ni el Comisión del Estado peruano no ha participado, para, no ha dado unas informaciones verdaderas para hacer ese tipo de trabajo. Entonces, nosotros, los dirigentes anteriores, han venido acá a una comisión para presentar documentos donde accionista Talisman, ellos ya, ya tienen conocimientos ya tienen documentos presentados, pero aún así lo sigue insistiendo. Por eso, su nuevo dirigente, viendo esos problemas serios que está pasando en mi pueblo, yo tengo que preocupar, venir acá 
informarles a todas las instituciones públicas y privadas para que ellos hagan una publicidad a nivel nacional e internacional y unirnos para poner más fuerza para presionar las empresas extractivas. So, for us in our territory, there's no room for anyone to enter. There's no room for an oil company to work. Our population is growing, and we're concerned about our future generations and what will be there to support them when they grow up. We've seen what's happening in other regions like Corrientes and how children suffer uh, from the contamination. That's why we don't permit Talisman to come into our land. When Talisman came here, they never came to consult us. We invited them to an assembly to inform us about what they were doing and what they were planning, but they never came, and they never informed us about what was happening. We come here before with previous leaders of the actual people. They traveled to Calgary for the, uh, for the uh, Talisman Annual General Shareholder Meeting. They came in 2008 and 2010. Um, and we presented documents to the CEO and to the shareholders um, uh, explaining our position and, uh, and demanding that the company leave our land and respect us. However, despite this, Talisman continues insisting on trying to enter our land. I'm a new leader elected by the Ashwar people and I have to concern myself about this. And for this reason I've come here to inform people, to inform the different public institutions, to inform the public, to look to see if we can unite people and uh, have a stronger voice in order to pressure the company to respect the actual wishes and to leave our land. Thank you. Porque, con la presencia de ellos, sucede muchos problemas. Problemas serios y ya el impacto social, impacto ambiental. Porque ahora hay otros grupos, grupos pequeños, están a favor, ellos ¿no? viven convencidos por las empresas, empresas tal, tal y tal. Entonces, nosotros, la mayoría de la población, ha organizado hacer una protesta para pedir a ellos para que se retire, ya en forma, ya de manera pacífica, sin pero. La, la empresa Talisman ha buscado otra estrategia de, de convencernos a nosotros, ha transportado armamentos con helicóptero. Entonces, él ha buscado conflicto. Entonces, pero los, las personas mayores como ellos, ya cuando eran jóvenes, ellos ya participaban, participaron, hicieron guerra. Ellos querían hacer guerra, pero como nosotros estamos presentes a él, si hacemos guerra, ¿cuántas gentes van a morir? Es una preocupación tremenda, es una lástima, es una pena. Entonces, viendo todo el problema, nosotros no queremos estar peleando entre, entre hermanos. Mejor, para evitar eso, mejor que se retire la empresa Talisman de nuestro territorio. Para queremos vivir en paz, so the, the, the oil company's presence there has just created problems and conflict. Not just environmental problems, but social problems as well. Some small groups of Ashwa have been convinced by the company's discourse. Um, uh, and an agreement with the company being there. But the majority of the Ashwara opposed. We organized a peaceful protest when we went to the Taliban oil, um, dr uh, drill site and we asked the company to leave. However, there we saw the company trying another strategy uh, to get into our land and they transported our, our arms in a helicopter looking to generate conflict between the Ashwara people. We, all, we almost ended up killing each other but the elders, knowing the history of war and conflict, ask for people to remain peaceful and, uh, and to not to fight. We don't want this type of conflict, we don't want to be fighting amongst ourselves. As long as the oil company is there, it's going to be keep creating this conflict. We want the oil company to leave so that we can live in, in peace and with justice with the actual people.